is why does it taste so? Like what? I mean, it just doesn't taste as good as normal. You know what? I haven't been able to get onions and scallions from the market recently, so the sawfish just wasn't seasoned as properly. Oh man. Well, our crops are being attacked by the infamous beet army worm. They attack crops such as onion, scallion, kalu, or even the worst cases, watermelon. Even fruits? How are they going to eat all my watermelon? Exactly. But not all is lost. Come, follow me. Here, we have captured some of the worms and researched their life cycle. They have an 18 to 24 day life cycle from egg laying to hatching to incubation and then death. What is that? It's a worm for your video. I don't like it. It's just a worm. No, you know you have to run. It's, it's pretty harmless to humans. These worms are the reason we have no skeleton. It's a good thing we set up isometra to control the population. Another method of controlling beta worm is by biological means. We introduce to the environment some of its natural predators such as plant bugs, beetles, spiders, or in the right hand corner, we have the stinging wasp. And in the left hand corner, the beet armor. All right guys, expect a good clean bout. No dirty tricks, no hitting below the belt. And begin. And the winner by technical knockouts, keeping our farm safe, the worst. We have to set up research plots as well as in vitro testing to determine which chemicals are the most effective in dealing with the beet army worm and at what concentration. And lastly, we developed a forecasting system to predict the likelihood of an outbreak or increase in beet armyworm population. Our formula allows us to use data collected to characterize areas based on the level of risk. Then our extension officers assist our farmers in controlling the spread of beet armyworm. So let's work together to get off this best. Because let's face it, Akiti and Selfish, it tastes nice again. <laughs>